Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and I am back with the youngins and as you can see I've changed up Jared a little bit. We will be playing as Jared today. A lot of you have been asking for what I am about to do in this part and honestly it's kind of scary. I mean I don't know, I, I'm not holding any expectations, I'm just gonna see where this part takes us. You know, a couple of you have been saying, where's the drama? And this Let's Play was very dramatic when it first started, I mean, when there was the whole wedding thing, I'm not gonna spoil it in case you guys aren't caught up and like you want to go back and watch things, or if you just started watching this part, go back and watch the... 60 odd, 70 odd, I don't even know how many parts this Let's Play has had, but yeah, it's it's been fairly dramatic as we've been playing and I was thinking why not bring back a little bit of that drama. Quite a few of you have asked me for this, to be honest. I have seen this in my comments. I have tried to ignore it, um, but it's actually got to that point where I'm like, we could go there, we could we could do this, we could see where it takes us, we could see if the Sims, you know, have a life of their own. So that's what we're gonna do in this part. I'm gonna let the Sims, I mean, I'm obviously gonna be playing, but I'm just gonna see where it naturally takes us in this part. And I'm pretty excited. So, um, Jared is now an adult um, and I gave him a new haircut. I also gave him a um, new skin because I love this custom skin. It's the one I used on my Bachelor, if you watched my Bachelor Let's Play. And I really, really just like the skin, to be honest. Jared actually didn't have a skin overlay or anything like that. Um, so I wanted to do that. Also, as you can tell, these two have aged up into uh, um, elders. I do want to age them back down. I, I didn't want the boys to age up, to be completely honest. Uh, Jared's an adult. Joey's an adult now. He's always been the youngest of like the sports team, the jocks, but he is actually an adult now, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, Jared is actually gonna invite Chloe on. I'm not gonna call it a date, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna go there. He still has a girlfriend. He is actually, look how big his pecs are. I actually need to like change those cause that just looks unnatural. Not even gonna lie, like, yes, I'm a fan of muscular Sims. I'm gonna say it, I am. However, that just looks fake. Um, So we aren't gonna go on a date. However, we are going to invite little Miss Chloe out. You know, I feel like these two have buried the hatchet. They're grown ups now. Chloe has a boyfriend, he has a girlfriend. However, I at least want them to get friendly. And if anything else comes from that, then it comes from that. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. We shall, this is what I mean by we shall just see where the Sims wanna take things. If they wanna take things to that whole new level, then they are very, very welcome to. However, I don't know, we shall see. I mean, it might get hella dramatic in this part. I'm expecting like all out blowout. I don't even know what I'm expecting, but I'm expecting something. You know, with Chloe and Jared, it is never, it is never easy. There's always some complications <laughs> with these two. Also, Jared is a little fitty. Can I just say, he's looking so suave right now. Like he really, really is. He aged well. I also think it's the new skin that's kind of giving him like more defined cheekbones. He did have amazing cheekbones. Nathan also had his father's cheekbones. Nathan is pretty much Jared, but with red hair. Like he's got his mom's hair, but everything else about him is all Jared. Like his nose, his um, chin, his like facial structure, all Jared. Like he's 100% Jared's kid. Nobody can deny that. Um, so Jared's just having some breakfast. I don't know where the rest of the boys are. Oh, they're all asleep. So as you can see, Alexi's an elder. He's up here sleeping away. Joey's sleeping in our bed. Joey likes to sleep in our bed, not gonna lie. He's gone for a cheeky nap in our bed every time. Um, Maybe, the, oh yeah, there are only three beds in this house. So that makes sense that he's sleeping in ours. I mean, obviously he needs a place to sleep. Um, 
I thought there were four rooms, but oh well. Uh, poor boys. Uh, we're going to replace that. And have you almost finished breakfast? Not particularly. You're still eating. Um, what's down here? I mean, not much. We don't have a computer since um, Mink stole it and also like ruined our house because he broke everything. Damn that Minx, even though it was me. <laughs> but I thought it was funny. Um, okay, we're gonna get rid of that. You have 24 hours to pay your bills. Well, good job we have 47 grand then, isn't it? I guess we should pay those 9,000 bills. That's a lot of bills. However, we do have a fair bit of money. I mean, look at the house the boys live in. They aren't... Oh, there's Chloe. Ooh, okay, this is perfect. We can go like chat with her. I've also never seen Chloe go for a jog. So where is this coming from? He can already, he can go for a suave kiss. That's because they do still have, they don't have any um thing, but they do, they have a very complicated relationship. As you guys know, acquaintances, just friends, soulmates, best friends, and bad romance. However, they are down to zero hearts now, so they don't have any romantic relationship currently. Chloe did ask him to just be friends, um, but we're gonna go um, brighten her day. Let's see if she stops. She stopped. She's waiting for us. She looks a little bit bored though. Um, not gonna lie. What's the matter, Chloe? Why why are you so angry right now? Also, I've never noticed how big Chloe's eyes are, unless I has her face gone smaller? I don't think it has. I think I just gave her quite big eyes. Like I oh. Oh, okay. That's cool game. You know, just make her disappear on me. That was annoying. I actually wanted to speak to her and be like, hey, wanna hang out later? Like, I thought that was the perfect scenario. See her jog past your house and in the le least creepy way possible, go up to her and be like, hey, do you wanna hang out? Um, I'm not thinking of going all romantic. Um, we actually, it's a little bit romantic. I was thinking a spa and then go for dinner. I mean, it is kind of romantic, but, you know, she's the mother of his child. He wants to spoil her, you know. He's been there for Nathan as he's been growing up and I feel like he does still want to be friends with Chloe. So, you know, Jared's gonna be a gentleman about it. He's gonna be like, look, you deserve to be spoiled. I'm gonna take you out for a spa day and then, and it's also a treat for Jared. I mean, he's an athlete, so. Oh, there's Nina. Uh, hey Nina, let's give her a cheerful intro. Oh, how do we not know Nina anymore? Game, what are you doing with your relationship calling? I mean, come on! Uh, brighten her day and also get to know her and discuss hydration. We're also gonna have a bit of a gossip. Get that catch up. Catch up on that tea. Spill all that tea, Jared. Go for it. She just loves the outdoors. Well, I already knew that considering I created her. Um, but cool to know, cool to know. Um, however, I would prefer if Chloe were around, to be completely honest with you. I mean, I love Nina, but she ain't my baby mama. So <laughs> I kind of really wish that was Chloe, but oh well. Who's this? Who's this child? Is this a child we know? Nope. Um, oh, I thought that was Chloe, but it's a lot. Oh my god. I just mistook Chloe for Eliza Pancakes. <laughs> Who am I? Who does that? Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just did that. Chloe, I'm so sorry. Please don't take offense. You're nothing like Eliza Pancakes. I don't know why, but the Sims community seems to have a general hate towards Eliza Pancakes. I know that Dan and Phil, they have a Sims 4 Let's Play, right? I've never actually seen it. I'm sorry, fandom, don't come for me. But I know quite a few of the fandom do watch my videos because obviously Dan and Phil got a lot of you into The Sims 4 with their Let's Play when it was like new and stuff. So it's very, very cool that the fandom have kind of joined slightly to the simming community. I mean, that's what this game's about. It creates such a massive fan base because so many people different walks of life play the game. So I know a fair few of you from the fandom do watch my videos, so hey, if you're in the fandom. Um, but didn't they have, like, wasn't Eliza Pancakes like their stalker or something like that? I always know whenever Eliza Pancakes is in one of my videos or I tweet about her, like someone with a Dan or Phil profile picture or icon or anything like that will be like, 
oh my god, Eliza Pancakes! And I'm fairly sure it's like a fan reference. Like, I, I'm not 100% on that. And if I said any of your fandom names wrong, then I do apologize. However, hey, if you're watching, that's basically what I was trying to say. Why are you out here speaking to this old lady? Who is she? Well, you just started speaking to her? She's rocking that gray Justin Bieber hair, you know? This is, this is 12 year old Justin Bieber when he gets older. <laughs> this is what Biebs is gonna look like when he hits like 50s. That's, that's gonna be him. Minus the boobs. Maybe he will have boobs when he hits 50. I don't know, maybe I'll be rocking the moves. Um, it's like 10 a.m. so I guess we should try and, um, let's hang out, let's, uh, uh, invite to hang out at current lot. I mean, then I guess we can travel with her. Uh, let's see if she wants to hang out. Chloe! I don't know if she's going to or whether she'll take offense to us asking her. Chloe is busy right now. Well, I think Chloe's in work. Mm, do we have a spare? We do have a spare club, so we could create a club and just call it Spa Day. Just to override, you know, the whole... Sorry about that guys, but as I was saying, it's probably gonna override the career thing, which is a good thing. So let's just call it Spa Day. We're gonna invite Chloe. She's gonna be the only one. We aren't gonna have any more requirements because they're just going out for the day. Um, but there we go. Um, oh, we yeah. really have to choose one seriously? Right, just go for that. Um, there we go. Congratulations. Jared has successfully created a club. I literally just use the club system now. I mean, if I have a specific specific reason to use the club system, I will. However, a lot of the time I just use it to override when uh, people don't want to hang out. Um, so hopefully Chloe will arrive. Uh, yes, she has arrived. Um, so we are going, can we just travel? I think we can, not center on current lot. I wanna travel. A lot of you ask me what the hotkey is for travel. I always just click M. I'm fairly sure that's like an all around thing for all Sims 4 games, um, but just hit M and you'll be able to travel. So that's how I get to my map so quickly. Like a couple of you do ask me that. Um, I don't know where we wanna go. I can't remember which is like the really cool spot. I don't wanna travel with the bachelors. I wanna travel with my club. Like, why is that automatically traveling with these guys? Why? I don't want to travel with them. I just want to travel with Jared and Chloe. What the heck? Um, hmm. Why can we not? Okay, I'm going to change the settings and I'm going to choose a club hangout. Um, let's go for a specific location, Oasis Springs. I am going to go for um, Springscape. Uh, that is the one that has like all the massage tables and stuff. So we are going to choose that one. I'm going to end this current gathering and then I'm going to start a gathering and we are going to gather at the spa. See, easiest the way around everything is just to create a club and uh, get your people meeting that way. It's legit the easiest way in The Sims 4 if you want to override anything silly going on in the game, like a career or like a traveling with your household. That was probably my fault though. I probably sh could have sorted that out um, without overriding it, but oh well. Um, we are here. He's gonna go get changed into his robe. I think Chloe is gonna go get changed into her robe as well. Nina's here too, which is cool. I mean, I expect she would be. She's all for meditation and massage and things like that. So I can see why she is here. Uh, don't go give an enchanting introduction. Um, why don't you go in the, to the spa together? Go relax together. There we go. That's what we're gonna do. This is our first activity of the day, is just to have a relaxing session in the sauna. However, getting a little steamy, I feel. Um, right, let's get, a, let's get a chat going. Um, we're gonna get to know her a bit. I mean, they already know each other, but they're catching up in life. Um, we can compliment her outfit. I mean, she's only wearing a towel and a Whoa, Chloe, oh no! 
Jared said no. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I actually was like, this is good. Like, this is good. This is what I wanted from this part. But he denied it. <gasps> oh, um, can we, like, apologize? Can we do a smooth recovery? I, sh it wasn't him, though. So if we try and flirt back with her, she's just going to say no. Um, let's ask her about her day and um, tell a dramatic story. I need him to stop feeling awkward so that, oh, no. That's so awkward. We're gonna talk about spa day. Actually, no, that's just a club thing. Um, don't practice fighting. Have a deep conversation. There we go. That's quite friendly. Um, we're also going to um, ask her about her day. He still wants to do all the romantic interactions, even though they've got like a negative on their bar right now. He does still want to do it. Um, we're also going to tell her an inside joke. We're going to get our friendship up a little bit more. Um, let's have a gossip. And I don't know if I want to try it. I feel like it's a little bit forced. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I know so many of you are like, please try Chloe and Jared again. Like, I think they're meant to be together. Like, I don't know, I feel like Chloe hasn't really clicked with anyone since Jared. I don't know what it is. But, like, Ted, he was just a nice guy, wasn't he? He was just, like, I felt like she friend-zoned Ted. And um, Jackson's, like, cute and all, but there's no genuine spark there, I feel like. So, I've seen these suggestions of, like, get Chloe and Jared back together. And it makes sense in my brain. But I... I just don't know if I can hit that romance button. Oh, we're gonna compliment our appearance. We're doing it. Oh no, he's feeling. Oh, she accepted it. She accepted it. She accepted it. Um. Oh, now there's a guy in here. God damn it! Just as we start getting play, Eric Lewis literally comes in and cock blocks us. Are you serious? What did we ever do to you, Eric Lewis? What made you come here at this precise moment? What's going on? She's thinking about woohooing. Chloe, we've only done one thing. Um, I don't know what we should do. Oh, Chloe. Oh my God. What did she just do? I, can't, I don't know what she just did, but she did something flirty and Jared loved it. Oh, Chloe's trying. I mean, she's like going for it. I mean, Jackson, who at this point? Ooh, let's go and use about our interests. And um, I kind of want to go get a massage. So we're going to go for... Um, we will go for... No, I don't want to go for an aromatherapy. We're going to go for a deep one. And we're going to have Patrice Beaver give it to us. Um, but let's go for it. Oh, Nina's here. If she sees Jared and Chloe, she's going to be like, What? What is happening with the auto? Um, go get a massage, Jared. Jared, what are you doing? Oh, he just wants to chat with Chloe. He is literally just chatting with her. We're going to give her a little sweet talk. Um... Oh my goodness. These two are like hitting it off right now. I'm very surprised. I did not think this was going to happen. Um, we're going to compliment her parents again. And can we try and embrace her? Oh, it is happening. This is juicy. Like, this is... I was... I honestly was not expecting this. When I came into this, I was thinking about what I wanted to record this morning. And I was like, okay, young guns, you know, I haven't recorded it in a while since I've been away. It'll be good. It'll be fun to get back into. And I checked out some of your comments from the last part. And this one is one that has been demanded pretty much since these two broke up. And... Just, I did not expect them to hit it off as well as they are currently. I mean, I, 
I wasn't expecting it in the slightest. Um, where's Chloe going? I think she's going upstairs. I don't know what for. Um, I want to go have... Why does he want to keep giving an enchanted introduction to everyone? We're going to ask this guy to give us a foot massage. Um, hopefully he will. Oh, he's heartbroken. He's like, no, I don't want to. Dude, can you just give us a foot massage? Seriously, just get a foot massage. Stop having a group conversation. There we go. Oh. <laughs> You're alright there, Jared. <laughs> That's looking kind of painful for you. I mean, how can it be that painful? It's only a foot massage. I mean, he is pretty much running on, like, cleats all day, so I kind of get it. But still. I mean, come on. Man up a little bit, dude. Where's Chloe? I'm guessing she's gone swimming. No, she's not swimming. Where is she? Chloe, where have you gone? Oh, she's over here. She's getting changed, I think. She might be going home, to be honest. What you getting changed into? Oh, okay, she's wearing her normal clothes, so she might be going out. I'm just uh, getting this, and then um, hopefully we'll... Nope, she looks like she's walking out of this gathering. Oh no, she's going back upstairs. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna say um, we'll just get it back together um, and have them go out for lunch or something. I mean, it's pretty much dinner time almost. We're gonna go use this toilet. Oh, that's the women's. Okay, nope, we aren't gonna go use that toilet. We're gonna use the men's toilets because Jared is a man. Um, so he's gonna go use that and then we're gonna go for something to eat, you know? It's like 5 p.m., that's dinner time. I have my dinner around that time, so we're gonna go out for a meal. Um, hopefully we can travel with our group. That's what I'm hoping. Why does it see keep saying travel with bachelors? I mean, I guess we can go over and then just invite the club, which is fine. Uh, where do I want to go, though? That is the question. Where are all of my nice places? Not in here. They're in Willow Creek, I think. I think we're gonna go to... Um, I think we're gonna go to the seafood restaurant. We have been here before. Yes, I just wanna travel with uh, Chloe. I'm gonna get rid of these though, because we might actually travel with these, so I'm gonna get rid of them. That's a weird glitch that you have, like, it does the same when you go on holiday. It, like, automatically brings your household, uh, even though you don't want it to, it's a little bit weird. Okay, so here we go, these two are gonna go for dinner. Why is Eric back again? He's, like, stalking us right now. Ooh, Jared's looking dapper right now. Look at him all dressed up all smart. <gasps> My goodness, he's totally making an effort, no matter what you say. Right, let's go request a table for him and Miss Chloe. Let's see whether we can get one. Oh, there we go, Chloe's dressed up. This is like the old times. Chloe's dressed all fancy now as well. My little babies. All my Jared and Chloe feels are coming back, like genuinely. Here's your table, enjoy your meal. This, I can't guys. Genuinely all my feelings are coming back and he's feeling flirty. Right, we are going to, oh, he's already flying. I don't even have to do anything. He straight up just, oh, Haley's here. Haley's gonna be like, the goss, oh my goodness. Who's she dining with? Is she dining with Mila? What the heck? What an odd thing to happen. Also, check this waiter. How hipster do you want to be? Um, where's Haley? Yeah, she's dining with Mila. What is happening there? I don't know. Um, but we should keep an eye on these two. Okay, Chloe is feeling flirty too. Oh my goodness. I genuinely I don't even know what to say. We're gonna compliment her appearance, you know. She's looking good. She's looking pretty fine in her little black dress. Hashtag LBD. Um we're gonna um what should we do? We're gonna give her a pickup line. I just kinda wanna watch the door in case Jared's girlfriend walks in. Um, I know he shouldn't be doing this, but I feel like it's kind of friendly flirting. Maybe it's gone a little bit past that now, but I feel like it's 
friendly flirting, like, banter at the moment. Um, but he's literally just, like, complimenting her appearance without me even saying to do anything. Um, oh, I've got a really itchy eye. So we're going to order for the table. Let's get this done. Everybody's looking very fancy here. Also, this guy is rocking the white shoes, which I love. I love it when a guy goes bold with a suit. Um, so we're going to go for the chef's choice for both of them. However, red wine is the chef choice at a fish restaurant. Mm, don't know if I trust it. You know, they always say white wine with chicken or fish and red wine with red meat. So I don't know. I don't know if I um, get that. Uh, but we're going to go for a lobster thermidor for Jared. And Chloe is going to go for the chef's choice. So that's what we're going to oh, go for there. He is feeling confident. He's like, I got a new haircut, my sides are shaved, I'm feeling all good, I'm here with my ex-fiance. <laughs> Which, you know, I don't know. I, I, I can't call it at the moment. You guys should let me know how you feel about this though. Are you a fan of it? Are you maybe not a fan of it? Are you thinking Jared's stepping into hot water? I would love to hear your comments. And like I said in my Dine Out part yesterday, if you do watch my Dine Out Let's Play, I am looking to start including your comments more in my videos like I used to do. So I would definitely love to hear your feedback on this part and how you feel about this little couple that we got going on here. But um, where's Chloe gone? Has she just gone to the toilet? Yes, yeah, she has. Come back down, Chloe, please. Please come back down, don't ditch us. <laughs> Not like you ditched us at the altar. Not again, we can't do it again. I also really like this uh, restaurant because you can see um, see this. I'm also keeping an eye on these two. I don't want these two to be flirting. However, she has gone for coffee and uh, Haley's here with like a cosmopolitan, a simsmopolitan, you know, as she do. Oh, Haley. I love it. It matches your shoes and your hair. Very, very cute. <gasps> he wants to woohoo with someone. Has Chloe joined us again? Oh, she has. And we got our food, so that's good. There we go. Here's your order. Enjoy. I thought that was Nina for a moment, but it's a dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's get back to chatting. Let's get a little bit more friendly again. Not ask to be just be friends. Let's not do that. We're gonna ask her about her love life. You know, we're a little, a little bit intrigued about that, Miss Chloe. Um, uh, is he asking? Uh, Chloe just became good friends with Jared, so they are back to being good friends, which is quite cute, actually. I do like that. Uh, we're gonna discuss food flavors. Why is it saying that he has to, like, move to do that? I mean, he sat at the table with her. Oh, he doesn't. He just has to kind of stop eating. So we can do friendly interactions with her. Uh, we're gonna ask her about her day, and, um, what else should we do? We're gonna confess our attraction. We're just gonna go all out and be like, Chloe, I still have feelings for you. You know, Jared's grown up a lot. He definitely, definitely has. You can see it with the way he treats Nathan and stuff. Like, he hasn't just abandoned. Also with um, his other child as well. I forgot her name. What's her name? His daughter. I genuinely can't remember what his daughter's called. Oh my god. Marisol. Uh, it's the same with Marisol as well. Like, he's definitely got back into Marisol's life and they are very good friends. So, um, he's definitely grown up from what he used to be back when Chloe left him at the altar or arch, I guess. It's not technically an altar in The Sims 4. So, he left him at the arch. Bless him. My little, my little baby Jared. I still have a soft spot for him. I feel like Chloe does as well, to be honest. I feel like, how can you not? There's someone you love that much since, like, high school. You have to have a soft spot. You can't not. Like, you would just be heartless if you didn't have a soft spot for that person. Especially, like, the father of your child and stuff, so... 
It's messy. It is a messy <laughs> one. Funny. But I'm gonna end this part here, guys. Just as Cla uh, Jared... I was about to call him Clarid then. <laughs> That's like their ship name. Uh, but just as Jared is about to impress her with his video game prowess. So thank you guys so much for watching this part. I hope you did all enjoy. If you did, please do give this video a big thumbs up. It was basically me fangirling about my two favorite simmies. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Let me know how you feel about this episode in the comment section down below and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys!